Hey guys, we do a lot of cool layouts on this channel, but I think it's time for us to learn 10 really cool shortcuts to make our workflow 10 times faster. Let's go. Have you ever wanted to copy something from one page and then paste it exactly the same spot in another page? Well, you can. If I'm going to select everything on this page and I hit Control C for copy, I'm actually going to go on the next page and I can actually hit Control Alt Shift and V in order to copy everything exactly on the same spot. And you can do this with anything. Now, whenever we make a layout, there's going to be all these guide boxes and guidelines as well as frames to tell us where everything is. If we want to switch this off and preview the page as is, we can press W. We can also press Shift W in order to go straight into presentation mode. This will take it into what it'll look like when you do a presentation and it's super useful. Simply hit escape in order to come out of that window and go back into your editing interface. Hey, are you still sailing the seas with your Adobe subscription? Well, maybe it's time to actually get it because of all the cool new AI tools that are out, you can save a lot of time by using generative fill in your Photoshop assignments. And if you're watching this video, you'll probably need it anyways. So for the low price of two avocado toast, I have a link down in the description if you wanna support the channel and get an Adobe subscription where you can explore all the different tools that will push your design into the next level. So check that out and support the channel. Do you ever use a lot of tools like pen or type and you just wanna go back and go and select everything? Well, use V in order to go back to the direct selection tool. This is something that I always do after every command, I press V to go back into the selection tool so that I can basically use it as a starting point in order to continue with another command. Have you ever wanted to select everything in a text box or on the page? Well, you can. With Control A, you can select literally everything on the page. How I like to use this is in my text boxes where I have subtitles or I have placeholder text, I can select everything and start typing what I want. So it's a super useful tool to weave into your workflow. Do you ever want to duplicate elements on your page where you can just drag and drop and make multiple copies of it? Well, you can. With the Alt key, I can drag and drop any of these elements to wherever I want on the page just by holding down the key and dragging it around. I can then play around with the shape and make this a more interactive layout. Super cool. This next one, honestly, everybody should know it is super useful. Whenever we drag an image into a frame, it might not come in in a size that we actually want. For example, if I want this to fit entirely within this frame over here that I made, then what I can do is use the shortcut Control Alt Shift C in order to fit it into what I have the frame is drawn. And if I want the entire picture to show in its entirety, then I can use the shortcut Control Command Shift E for extent in order to fit the entirety of the picture into the frame that I have drawn. Usually I like to use the contents, so Control Alt Shift C, but it is a command that helps you fit pictures really quickly into your picture frames. Say I accidentally delete this picture frame that I made a very long time. Oops. You guys probably know that you can use Control Z to bring everything back, but did you know that you can actually use Control Shift Z to basically redo the move that you just did? So use a combination of Control Z and Control Shift Z in order to undo and redo your last actions. Have you ever wanted to modify how things are in space, whether they're in front of each other or behind each other? Well, you can. With the command Control Shift and bracket, you can actually modify the way that things are behind or in front of each other. If I want to move this blue element behind this picture, I can use the command or shortcut Control shift left bracket in order to send it behind and control shift right bracket in order to bring something to the front. So use a combination of those two in order to manipulate what's in front of the picture and what's behind the picture. If I want to move everything that is blue on this page, I can actually select everything. So if I hold shift and select everything and I give it a nice group. So if I hit control G, it's going to group and you can tell it's grouped when the outline is nice and dash like that. Now I'm able to move all the elements at once. If I want to ungroup, I can use the shortcut key, command shift G in order to ungroup everything. And you can tell it's ungrouped when I can select individual elements. Do you ever have too many elements on the page and you wanna lock something in place so that you don't move everything? Well, you can actually do that. 
So if I have this black background in the back and when I select something, everything else moves and I want to lock it, I can select this, hit control L for lock. And then you can see that when I select it now, it's not going to select the black background. So I can move whatever I want on the page, but it's not going to move whatever I have locked. In order to unlock everything on this page, I can press control alt L. And now you can see that I can again select the black background. So super cool command to integrate and improve your workflow. And that's it. So that's 10 super easy and super useful commands for us to use in order to speed up our workflow. Which one was new for you? Leave it down in the comments. If you want to learn about how to make these super amazing layouts, they're super easy. Make sure you check out our videos on our channel and check out our website. I hope you guys have learned something. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.